Hey guys, welcome back. So now we have set up our theme, um, installed a few plugins. So now we need to get the settings correct for our blog so that when it shows up on search engines and sharing on social media, um, the, it is presented with the correct information. So back to my dashboard. Um, over here on the left, you're going to come down here to settings. So here you're going to enter, I mean, it, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, your site title, that's your, the name, if you have a tagline, um, the WordPress URL, and these two should be the same. Um, if you haven't updated or set it up as HTTPS with your web host, make sure that you do that. Um, this email, you can see here, this is used for admin purposes. This is for them to send you, you know, WordPress people to send you information. Um, user details, subscriber. This is for when someone uh, subscribes to your blog or um, leaves you comment, things like that. Uh, your time zone. Uh, actually, I should probably do mine. I think I am plus 600, 6 o'clock. I'll have to look that up. Um, your date format, how you want the date to show up, the time, and when you want your work week to start. All right, so over here, so you have general, that's the page that we're on now. Click on writing. So here, if you have, um, if you want to be able to post to your WordPress, like create a post from your email, you have to set this up. A lot of people don't really bother with this. Um, I don't have mine set up, um, but you can definitely go through and enter your information here. So let's go on to reading. All right, so here, um, for your homepage display, so I have mine set up as a static page. Um, which is something I've set up in a different section. Um, you can have it set up for your latest post. It really depends on what your theme is. You know, I have the Genesis theme, and um, the latest post was set up where underneath the big header image, my post would come up. I didn't like how that was, so now I have mine set up for everything that I've um, given the category of blog. And so basically that is all of my blog posts. Um, you can set this up however you want, and you can play around with it too, so that when someone goes to your website, you know, for me, girlbossesrock.com, what page are they going to end up on? So um, I have it set to show at most 10 blog posts on a single page. Make sure that you have something here. Um, I have been on blogs where they had infinite scroll set, and that's where you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling down the page and it literally shows every single post that they've ever written and so if you've been blogging for a while it's like oh my gosh can I get to the bottom of this already and you never get to the footer and that's important because one you can put a lot of stuff in your footer that benefits you um, but two it's just it, it just doesn't look very well so make sure you know five to ten posts is good anything more than ten is really too much you can set it to where it shows the full text or the summary, and what that means is, let me show you over here. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a summary, and, and this is better. You don't want the whole post, especially if you have five to ten posts on this first page. They don't want it. They, they just need to see a small excerpt of it. Um, it's just way too much to get to the next one to see what, you know, they want to be able to look at your page and see what kind of content you have. And if they have to go through an entire blog post to get to the next one, they're, they're probably not going to stay around very long. So keep this here um, as summary. Uh, if this is checked, uncheck it. Um, just this discourages search engines from indexing you. You want to be indexed. And here you can adjust this for follower settings, how, whatever you wanted to say. All right, so let's go to discussion. Now this is where you set up really uh, more detailed information um, for comments. If you want them to be required to fill out their name and email, you'll check this box. 
um, if you want them to be registered. I do not recommend this. A lot of people um, will not leave a comment on your page if they have to register. Um, I've been on some where it's like you have to register on Discus or something else. I don't like that personally, and I know a lot of other people in the blogging community don't like it either, so I would not require that. Um, enable threads, comments, five levels deep. This is just once you get, um, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of comments. Um, automatically close comments on articles older than 28 days. Make sure that is not checked because, you know, if someone comes across your blog after a couple of months, you want them to be able to um, leave a comment if it's been more than a month since someone else left one. So if you want to receive notifications, I do not recommend uh, checking any of these. Otherwise, your inbox is going to get flooded every time someone comes to your page and leaves a comment or likes a post. Now, if you start having problems with people leaving hateful comments, and unfortunately we do deal with that in the blogging community, you can set this right here, that comment must be manually approved. I did that for a little while. I had somebody trolling my page, just leaving hateful stuff. And so, um, but that was a while back and I've, I've since opened it because I don't always get in there to um, check my comments every day and so I don't want a comment to be sitting in queue for a day or two while I'm getting around to it. You know, you want people to see that others are commenting on you. So this is up to you, but if you do begin having that problem, this is where you would fix that. All right, your avatar, you'll want to set up an avatar. Um, this is just an image, you know, and for a blog, you need to have an image of you. I know in this world of Facebook, I, I see a lot of people who put an image, like, you know, a picture, a graphic or something as their Facebook image. This is a business, and people are more likely to do business with you when they believe that you're a human. And putting a face to it just makes it more personal and makes them more likely to want to get to know more about what you have to offer. So get a good picture of yourself, take a selfie, you know, whatever, and, and make sure it's professional. Don't make duck lips. Um, don't, you know, have your girls all hanging out with cleavage and everything. Make it a professional, nice image so that people are welcoming or are welcomed by it. Um, I've seen some where they, you know, have a picture of them and their dog or maybe with their kids if it's a mommy blog or whatever. Um, but make sure it's something that's tasteful. Um, hopefully you don't have X-rated content on your blog. If you do, you'll need to um, adjust your settings here. Um, and then here, if you, for, if you have Jetpack, um, you can check either of these. All right, so media. This is just your standard imaging sizes when you upload images, and you can adjust this. Um, you can also adjust it when you upload it. So I didn't, I have not actually made any changes to this from what came with it. All right, permalinks. Everyone always asks what a permalink is. So this is, and you may need to change this. A lot of times when you first install it, um, this is basically what your URL, your address, for any particular page on your blog will show. And so if I had a blog post called how to start a blog, um, I want it to say girlbossesrock.com backslash how to start a blog, not archives, not the date, not the time, because having those words in there um, also help with your SEO ranking and Google and things like that. Plus it tells the person if they come across that, that web address somewhere, what the heck it's about. So make sure you have a uh, post name selected. And so whatever you have set as your slug, which is the after um, your dot com, that's called a slug. And, and we'll go into how to actually set that up. Um, it'll have it right there. Okay. All right. So next, if you have tiny MC advanced, this is if you have Genesis theme, um, this just adds additional options for you to change your color and font and things like that. Um, Pinterest settings. This is important. So you'll want to set how you want your pin it image to hover over um, the images on your page and where if you want it in the top left, the top right. So you'll just go through and however you want it to be presented on a page and which pages you want them to come on. This is where 
you set up all of that. Sharing. So when you publish a post, when you hit publish and it goes live, um, you can add your different social media in here, connect to the accounts. And so when you do hit publish, it also publishes it to all of those accounts. I don't publish everything to my LinkedIn. That's why it's showing this. But it will uh, send a tweet. It'll post to my Girl Bosses Rock Facebook page. Um, and then if I had any other ones. So this is where, that way you don't have to go and publish the post, then go over to Facebook and then post it, go to Twitter and post it. You can do it all in one setting by entering all of that information here. Sharing buttons, I will advise you um, to not activate any of your sharing buttons here. And the reason for that is because, well, they're ugly. These come off as really small at the bottom. You can't do much with them as far as um, editing them, moving them, or anything like that. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend either the Shareaholic or Social Warfare plugins. And we will talk about that in another lesson. Um, but if you have this already, usually I think Facebook and maybe Twitter is set up on here, take them off. Put them all in to um the like to where they're like this and not color meaning they're not in use otherwise you know you can drag them here and then those will show up no 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 so make sure this is blank and then uh, all of this should be unchecked as well um all right so ssl let's go to this one um this just tells you if there's any issues I don't have a premium. Um, I'm, I'm on the free version of Yoast and all of that stuff. So, and my SSL certificate and everything is set up through my web host. So you, unless you have some reds in here, um, you shouldn't have to do anything with this. And by the way, in your dashboard, when you log in each time, it's going to give you notices if there's anything wrong. If you have any um, problems with your SEO or anything like that, it's going to show up right here. All right, so that is it for sharing, I mean for setting, sorry. Um, that is where you are going to set up all of the main stuff for how your blog comes up. Um, in the next video, we are going to talk about your Yoast SEO and how to set all of that up properly um, so that when you share stuff on like Facebook or anything like that, the thumbnail and, and what shows up will come up. All right, we will see you in the next lesson.